I suppose if I'm honest, I didn't really expect to like Horrible Bosses 2. I didn't like the first movie. It's not that I don't like bad taste, balls out comedies. Sometimes I do, but these are just lazy. And if anything, the second one is worse than the first. It stars the same three guys, Jason Bateman, Jason Sudeikis, and Charlie Day, who's a bit of a third wheel. This time around, they're ripped off by father and son businessmen, Christoph Waltz and Chris Pine. And they hatch a plot to kidnap the son in order to try and get some of that money back. Of course, it's not really about the plot, it's about the jokes. I just thought they were low rent and at times quite nasty. There's an N-word joke at the beginning that just doesn't even really work and just gives you an excuse to have three white guys saying that word over and over again. Jamie Foxx is still playing this real racial stereotype that an Oscar winner really shouldn't be doing. He might say it's okay, I didn't think it was okay. And Jennifer Aniston is in such soft focus that I couldn't really tell what was happening in the background in any of her scenes. Her part is just gross and demeaning and really a bit beneath her. I had to put my Jason Bateman blinkers on in this movie because I love Jason Bateman, but I just wish he wasn't in these horrible bosses movies because they're sort of low rent hangover ripoffs. I just hope we don't get a third.